evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lisa Shell 9002, and you know what time it is. It's time for 15 seconds of fail. Before I get into said 15 seconds of fail, I would like to talk to you about a certain article on the Young, Black, and Fabulous website that caught my attention last night. Now I must warn you, the following article contains gruesome amounts of ignorance and copious, copious fuckery. And also, it's pretty much a middle finger to the king of pop himself. So, if you're sensitive to one of those things, you might want to click on that little red X in the top right corner now. But if you're not, feel free to feel free to join in this epic face palm. Okay. It appears that Baby, aka Birdman, loves him some wheezy. The CEO of Cash Money recently told media he compares Lil Wayne to Michael Jackson. I shit you not. And he believes that Weezy deserved Hall Hall's M hottest MC title. Hang on. He says, Baby asserts that when Wayne comes home, he lifts everybody's spirits. He lifts everybody's value. He lifts the brand. He lifts everything. Wayne is going to be the biggest artist in music. Not just in hip-hop, in music. It's, it's some Michael Jackson shit right here going on right before our eyes. He's a beast. He went back to that raw rapping. And he goes on to spout some more bullshit about how Lil Wayne is the best rapper alive. <laughs> no sh no fucking shit, Sherlock, really? And that, Jay-Z did not deserve winning the title of the hottest MC in the game that MTV assigned him. According to Birdman, a.k.a. Baby, a.k.a. Fucktarded Asswipe, Lil Wayne deserved to win that title since he is the only rapper who makes more money than Hull. I just have to ask one question here. What in the fuck was Birdman smoking and is he selling it? <laughs> because seriously, I've seen this guy say some stupid ass shit before, but this takes the cake. I'm not the only person that said this. I'm not the only person that said this, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. There can be only one. And no, I am not talking about the Highlander. There can be only one Michael Jackson. There is only one King of Pop. And for Birdman to say that fuck tarted ass backwards statement <sighs> to say that this guy is ignorant would be a fucking understatement you know it's like yeah I'm trying to make I'm trying to rack my brain for valid valid and an analogy see <sighs> anymore. Okay, not as much as I used to, but still. Hang on. I got it. That's like comparing Soldier Boy to Tupac. Okay, so it wasn't original, but damn it, it was the best I could think of on the spot. Anyway. <laughs> Feel free to... I will post the link to the article below so that you can see it for yourself so that you can see that baby has made it abundantly clear that he likes sucking on Lil Wayne's lollip diminutive lollipop yeah 
This reminds you of anything, Lil Wayne? It's the size of, it's the size of your penis. Anyway, let's get on with the 15 seconds of fail. Now, some of you remember last week when I epically roasted the crap out of a user named Cruise 5000. He's clearly taken it upon himself to recruit some more ass backwards morons just like him so that they can spread libel about me and another friend of mine, I hate stalagmites. Well, anyway, one of his companions by the name of 101 Any Star 101 took it upon himself or herself or itself to leave me a personal message entitled WTF. So, and so, sit back, relax, and enjoy as I take you on this heartfelt journey into the poignant... Ah, fuck it. Let's get on with the fail. Ha <laughs> ha! Saying that Chris is a stupid motherfucker when slash in my way, and all my other friends that came to my house yesterday say that you are one and not Cruz, and who the fuck cares how you spell? Whatever the hell you were saying, you are very lame, colon, capital D. T.Y. Quattro reading. You can post this message on another freaking video that no one watches. Left parentheses, colon. Yes, Annie Cruz, I am gonna, I just posted your message in this video. I posted it in a video that 153 people are going to watch. <sighs> and you're talking about all your friends saying that I'm a stupid motherfucker, mother as you so eloquently put it. You are 25 years old. I really hope to hell, which I really hope to hell that it's not, because most 25 years old. Because most 25-year-old people that I know, they don't have the grammar of a drunken six-year-old retarded Girl Scout with ADHD. <sighs> so, it's just... It's <sighs> and also, I want to close this video out by saying that, by clearing some things up. Because I know that I made a video four days ago about Nicki Minaj, whether or not you guys think she's a hypocrite. And I know that a lot of people may have taken it the wrong way when I replied to their comments. I want to be known that I have nothing against her personally. I just don't like the image she's portraying. And I don't like how she's making up words. Because, again, I've taken the liberty of listening to a few of her old songs. And I just wondered, why didn't she bring this with her? when she got signed to Young Money. Why couldn't she bring the serious part with her, you know? Oh, P.S. One person left me a comment saying that I'm a grown-ass woman. I shouldn't be hating on somebody. They expect this from like a 15, 16 year old. Uh, newsflash. Nikki's 27. She's gonna be 30 in three years. And she's emulating the persona of a child's toy? Are you fucking kidding me? So, yeah. I'm gonna need you to uh, reevaluate your role models. Yeah. That concludes this week's 15 Seconds of Fail. Till next time, bitches. I'm Lissa Shell, and I'll see you in hell. Peace.